So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on this foundation, the e.l.f. Flawless Foundation right here. If you guys want to know how it worked out for me and how it covered, continue watching. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a first impressions on this e.l.f. Studio Flawless Finish Foundation. So I got these two. I was at Shopco in this big city um, out here in Utah. It's Salt Lake. And <clears throat> I found these in the clearance section for 60 cents. 60 cents so I got the caramel shade and then almond shade I guess this is an old packaging and this is like the newer packaging because it looks a lot different but I already had swatched them on my hands and the almond is a little bit too dark for me so I'm pretty sure I can use it like to contour and stuff like that but um, this one fits me perfect so I'm gonna be doing a first impression and I'm pretty excited so first off taking it out it's a glass packaging it is so cute I don't have any glass packaging well yeah, I do. Flower. My Flower Cosmetics Foundation is um, plastic. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I I think I'll have Mars tell us to take it out. Okay, so anyways. It comes in a glass um, foundation bottle. It looks like there's a lot of product in it. And it's a pump applicator, which is awesome. But yeah, I love that it's glass. I don't know why. It makes you feel like fancy. And I got it for 60 cents, so I'm just like... Booyah. So how I'm going to be applying this foundation, I'm going to be using a beauty blender, wet, because I love the way it goes on flawless. And before I do that, I'm going to go in and prep my face with the hangover, Too Faced hangover. So I'm going to get two pumps of that. Oh, this stuff smells so good. And I noticed when I use this um, primer, the hangover primer, my, my foundation lasts all day. So just rub it together and just place it on your face. I normally just use one pump because that was a lot, but since I'm going to be outside and I'm going to be sweating, I'm pretty sure, it's really hot today, um, I want it to just to my skin. So going in with the Beauty Blender, I'm going to start applying it on my face. Okay, so now since my face is on and I'm finished, my final thoughts on the e.l.f. foundation is that it gave me a flawless finish. It looks really, really, really good. What I do have to say, it does not have a yellow undertone. I love it when I get foundations and it has a yellow undertone. This is kind of like a cool tone foundation. And if that bothers you and you guys are more, more into like the yellowish foundations, don't pick it up. Okay? Don't pick it up. <laughs> Me, when I was blending it, I was like, oh, damn it. Um, but it doesn't really bother me that much because I highlight with yellow and contour and all that. So I can kind of like fake it. But um, but yeah, if you're one who's not into the whole contouring and thing, I would say, you know, if you don't like cool tone foundations, don't get it. This is more yellow tone. Um, but yeah. But overall, it looks really, really good. I like the way it went on. I like the way it went on. It is not full coverage. I'm pretty sure you can build it up to full coverage, but I feel like if I would have built it up to full coverage, it would look really cakey and it would weigh a lot on my face. Um, I did use three pumps and just using three pumps, it gave me enough coverage. It gave me medium coverage. Didn't give me a lot of coverage, but medium. Um, so yeah. So overall, I think it's a really good foundation. I liked it. I'll check back in to let you guys know how it lasted throughout the day. It is now 2 o'clock. So I'll let you guys know at the end of the night how it wore throughout the day. I would record throughout the whole day and like how it's holding up and stuff. But there's just a lot going on today. So I'll just check back in at the end of the night. Which is probably going to be really, really late. So that's okay. We'll just see how it lasted. And yeah, stay tuned. Hey YouTube, so it's now 9.08. Let me pull out my phone, it's just charging. Let's see, 9.09, I said 9.08, but I guess it took me a minute, right? So 9.09, don't mind that. 9.09, overall the foundation has held up 
pretty freaking good. I am really excited because I finally get to add another foundation into my collection. It is really, really good. Like I said, it's medium coverage, but you can build it up. Me, I'm so picky. I really don't like it when something looks really, really caked, caked on. So I kind of just left it at that. that. It did take three pumps to cover my full huge face, but that's okay. Um, that's really... That's really very little. Um, I usually squirt like a good good quarter size of foundation. And it only took three pumps, which was pretty freaking good. So overall, I think it's an amazing foundation. Um, if you guys see it, pick it up because I swear it's really, really good. And it's so cute. But again, what I will say is that it has cool tones, not warm tones. So this is a cool tone foundation. So if you kind of don't like kind of stuff like that, then don't even like bother because you're not going to like it. The only reason why I'm not really having a, like, a little fit with it, one, because it was 60 cents. Two, because I put yellow here, here, and here when I highlight and contour and stuff. So it kind of like evens it out and it just acts as a... Um, it acts like my shading, whatever, when I contour it, so it works out. I'm so glad I got it for 60 cents because it's seriously way good. I was just like, yeah, yes. Um, it just felt really lightweight on the face, like when I was bouncing it around my face with the ball. <laughs> with the Beauty Blender. It worked really, really good. So, yeah, yeah. It worked amazing. Let me know down below if you guys have tried this, if you guys like it. Let me know your thoughts down below. I love talking to you guys. You guys are seriously my friends. And I really, really like talking to you guys. It's always so fun when we interact with each other and like give each other like makeup tips, makeup tips, makeup tips and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. Makes my day. I swear it does. So yeah, <laughs> let me know down below what's your favorite foundation and if you have tried this foundation out. I would really love to know and yeah thanks so much for watching guys i really really appreciate it if you guys like these type of videos please give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>